All right, next let's look at some examples of hard light that are used in a more theatrical environment. So something that's not supposed to look realistic. Uh, let's take a look at the work of Dion Beebe in his work on Chicago. Chicago is a theatrical musical and it is, uh, its use of hard light is exemplary. So um, let's get after those. First example from Chicago shows a, a singer at a microphone, a bald gentleman. Um, very, very distinct, very strong graphic image uh, with the, the light coming from the back behind him, some, uh, some fog or some haze in the air. Really, really sets a nice silhouette with the, the black background with very little detail back there. Creates just a dramatic shot. Something like this can't really be done with a soft light source. You need a hard light to pull this off. Uh, so theatrical stage lights, something like Alico, um, is a great example of a, of a light source that you could work with to create images like this. Similar to the last shot, we have the silhouette of a, of a woman. If you notice, all the lights are coming from behind them that are creating these very graphic images. The hard light goes through the hair, the way it, it just outlines the face so slightly and the skin, and it picks up all the little hairs on the body. Um, and then just a little bit of haze in the air gives you that flare around the lens or around the light. I mean, so it's not just a, a single round source of light. It, it spreads out a little bit, but yet it still keeps that hard quality on, on the person. Um, creates a very graphic image. And again, soft light can't do things like this. This is one of the beauties of hard light is being able to, to really focus, focus, create sharp lines, um, mix in some haze, not blow out the entire image. And, um, and create graphical um, content like this. All right, this image is different than the first two, obviously. Um, again, it's a woman, she's on stage, uh, or it's meant to look like she's on stage. And, and if you notice, there's a, the, the, the light from her, it's a, it's a light that, it's probably a, something along the lines of a Lico, where you can really focus the light and get that sharp edge. So if you look at the circle around her, you know, here's this woman on, on this island this island of gray in the middle of this sea of black. So, so a shot like this is gonna help isolate her from, from her surroundings. And if, if this is a stage, and that makes perfect sense, you wanna isolate her from the crowd, you want the crowd to look at her, you know, but as a cinematic shot, uh, you know, her positioning on the left side of the frame, all the negative space left off to the right, and just this one light coming down, creating that circle, um, really gives you a, an idea of her state of mind. So without light bouncing everywhere, without it, it bouncing off of walls or bouncing off of ceilings or bouncing off of, of reflectors, um, you know, as, as a, a traditional soft light may be, and with a small light source, you're going to be able to create these graphic images that, uh, that draw the viewer's attention where you want them to be. And, you know, if you notice that they're not worried about the, the contrast ratio here, they're not worried about the, her back going really dark. Um, you know, this, this is a shot that's meant to, to, to give you one simple idea without a lot of fluff. Shots like this can be created quickly, easily with, a, with small amounts of equipment. And, uh, and it's a beautiful thing. So um, 